And Prabhupada explains that the secret of success in life is contained in this verse, chapter 7, verse 30 and 31. Prabhupada says this is the secret of success. Guru Shushu Shaya Bhaktya Sarva Labdar Panenacha Sangena Saru Bhaktanam Ishvara Radhanenacha Sharya Tatkatayamcha Kirtaner Guna Karmanam Tatpadam Buruha Dhyanat Talingek Sharhanadibi Translation This is the secret of success. One must accept the bona fide spiritual master and render service unto him with great devotion and faith. Whatever one has in one's possession should be offered to the spiritual master. And in the association of saintly persons and devotees, one should glorify and worship Lord Krishna. One should hear the glories of Lord Krishna with faith and glorify the transcendental qualities and activities of Lord Krishna. Always meditate on the Lord's lotus feet and worship the deity of the Lord strictly according to the injunctions of the Shastras. Purport. To practice bhakti yoga, one must first accept a bona fide spiritual master. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu explains, Guru Parashayas Tasmat Krishna Dikshadi Shikshanam Vishram Benagurara Seva Sadhavartmanavartam a student should be very inquisitive and eager to know the complete truth about Sanatana Dharma. This verse says Guru Shushushaya. This means, what does this verse, what does this mean in verse 31? The word or phrase Guru Shushushaya means the disciple should personally serve the spiritual master by giving him bodily comforts, helping him in bathing, dressing, sleeping, eating and so on. This is called Guru Shushushanam. A disciple should serve the spiritual master as a menial servant. Whatever the disciple has in his possession, he should dedicate to the Guru. His life, wealth, intelligence, his words, everything should be offered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead through the medium of the Guru. There's a common phrase in English they say, I mean in Hindi they say, Man tan dan guru samarpan. Or man tan dan guru samarpan. Arpan means offered. Completely everything should be offered to the guru. Our man, our mind, thinking, feeling, willing, our tan, our body, and our dan, our wealth, our possessions, our abilities, our skills, our talents. Everything should be offered to the spiritual master as a matter of duty. But the offering should be made to the spiritual master with heart and soul. Actually, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, he, he says that the disciple should offer everything to the guru with love and affection. It should not be artificially done. This is called Guru Samarpan. One should live amongst devotees, sadhu samgena, bhaktanam, saintly persons, to learn the proper etiquette and behavior of devotional service. So this verse is saying, Saru Sangena Bhaktanam. So Prahlad Maharaj is saying we should live with the Vaishnavas. So why should we associate with Vaishnavas? What can we gain by associating with Vaishnavas? We can learn proper behavior, the etiquette and proper behavior of devotional service. We can learn that by living amongst devotees. So behavior is very important.